guys, I'm too. Hello Sycamore, happy Thursday, November 17th, and welcome to this great episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Carter. And hi, I'm Violet. Let's all stand, place our hand over our heart, and join Mr. Foley's flex class to honor this country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, Thank you, and please be seated. Please be respectful, responsible, safe, and problem solvers. We're continuing to celebrate International Week. Diana is here with our next special guests, Baruka and Sarah. Over to you, Diana. Hi, I'm Diana, and today I'm interviewing Haruka and Sarah for International Education Week. Where did you study or work abroad, and where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. I'm from Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm the same. Okay. Why did you choose Cincinnati? Because of my father's job. Father's job? Yeah. Same. Okay. What do you enjoy the most? Playing basketball. Playing tennis and dancing. All right. Uh, what were some of your culture shocks? Um, school rules are all, all looser. Mm -hmm. For example, in Japan, we couldn't wear earring or necklace. Going to school by bus. Mm -hmm. In Japan, we are walking to school. Oh, okay. What do you miss the most about your home country? I miss my Japanese friend. Oh. I miss my Japanese friend and I miss my, Jap uh, my Japanese stores. Okay. What do you think was the most valuable thing about living abroad? The most valuable thing living here is that we can learn English a lot and we can take different classes than once in my Japanese school. Mm -hmm. I get to experience things that I can't in Japanese like using English all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, all right. Thank you. Thanks, Diana and guests. Thank you for sharing International Week with us. Can you believe today we are one week away from Thanksgiving? Today is Thankful Thursday. Let's go out and see what our friends and teachers are thankful for. Um, so, Patrick, what are you thankful for? Uh, I'm thankful for my friends, Violet. Are you thankful for me? Yeah, Violet. Thank I'm you. thankful for Violet. Violet's yeah. like the best. Thank you. Um, Hi, I'm Charlie, and I'm here with... Mr. Tanaka. Okay, so Mr. Tanaka, what are you thankful for? I am thankful for health, because uh, a lot of times we just assume we're healthy, but then when we get sick, we really are grateful for everything. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Those are all so great. Hey, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for ham. Because ham is good. Uh, what are you thankful for? Um, I actually don't like ham, but I am thankful for this class and that we get to do these announcements for the school. I bet our creative writers are thankful for our Montgomery Women's Club and them hosting the creative writing contest this year. I bet they are also thankful that the contest started this week and runs until deadline day, December 14th. I bet they are also thankful that they can get all contest information and have the Montgomery Women's Club Writing Contest Google Classroom code PGHDLQA right here to submit their entries. And what a wonderful opportunity for our creative writers. Thanks Mrs. Adams for overseeing this. Next. Let's go over to our Students of the Week. Hey, this gives me a great opportunity and the great pleasure to introduce this week's Students of the Week. All right, these are all Sycamore Junior High students who have been nominated by teachers for being safe, for being responsible, for being a problem solver, and being respectful. All of our PBIS virtues, okay? All right, our first student is Sam Broxterman. Thank you, Sam. You guys know him from dancing in the video. All right, and Sam was nominated by Mrs. Meyer. There you go, buddy. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, next is Ari Liss. Oh, shh. Good job there, Ari. All right, and those chairs are tricky, brother. All right, and Ari was nominated by Mr. Minion. There you go, Ari. There's your certificate and your Chick-fil-A. Uh, Sajida Musa. 
And Sajida was nominated by Mr. Miles. Congratulations, honey. There's your certificate. And there's your Chick-fil-A. And last, but certainly not least, we have Laurel Crawford. And Laurel was nominated by Mrs. Milligan. And there's your Chick-fil-A. Here's your certificate. And remember, these students were all nominated for being safe, for being responsible, being problem solvers, and just being good students here at Sycamore Junior High. That's it for me. You guys have a great day. I'll see you later. Congratulations and thanks to our students of the week. We are so thankful that they make great, responsible, respectful, problem-solving decisions to make our school safe and a great place to learn. Way to go, students of the week. Next we have... Wait, we just received a big announcement. Drum roll, please. We are going to have a winter dance. Yay! I totally want to go. Give us some details. All right. This is so exciting. So, the dance will be on December 16th from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Tickets will cost $5 each and will go on sale the week of December 5th. A maximum of 250 people are allowed due to the amount of space we are limited to. So make sure to get those tickets. More details to come. Okay, add that to my calendar too. I so want to do this. And I better do this quick because it is only limited to about a third of our school. All right, have you been waiting to do something to make Flexbell more fun? Well, next we have some students to share some fun activity ideas that you may be able to work on with your Flexbell teacher. Have you ever been bored during Flex? Because we've come up with a fun and competitive sport activities that Flexbells can compete in and enjoy. Do you want to be part of our monthly Olympic sports? There will be games like trash ball, soccer, golf, and a lot more coming up. For trash ball, specifically, your flex teacher will record your shots. Each classroom gets 40 throws. Your flex teacher will be emailed a Google form with the information to sign up. It starts on December 5th and it ends the 20th. It doesn't matter if you lose this week, we have many, many more opportunities. The most important rule is to just have fun and to enjoy the experience you have you have to, to, sp to spend time with your friends and with your flex belt. We made this project because we love sports and we want to spread this love across the school. These, These are the, the trash kit ball rules. Number one, if you cross the line, it is an automatic zero. If you are caught cheating, you will not be able to participate for the rest of the day. Um, five feet is five points, ten feet is ten points, fifteen feet is fifteen points, and anything below five feet is three points. And this is the type of trash can that you need to use. That's right, now. Thank you, and bye! Thanks. That looks pretty fun. I wonder what the winners get. <coughs> Next up... National, National Day! Day! Whoop, whoop. Today is National Butter Day. So in different types of butter are unsalted butter, salted butter, sweet cream butter, sweet cream butter, <laughs> cultured butter, clarified <laughs> butter, organic butter, plant-based butter, grass-fed butter, European-style butter, spreadable butter, whipped butter, goat butter, Amish butter, compound butter, <laughs> brown butter. Okay, okay, that is a lot of buttering up. Are you trying to get A's from your teachers? Next stop, birthdays. birthdays. Happy birthday to our only student celebrating today, Chase B, and staff member, Mrs. Diorio. Have a great day celebrating. Lord Harris has no. left us today like the harsh person he is, so we are here to replace him. Attention, girls volleyball players. If you have not received your t-shirt, please see Coach Villani in the media center today. International Club will meet this Friday. That's tomorrow. Members, be sure to check your email and the Google Classroom for details. And now for the joke of the day. What is something you never say to someone who is going to the bathroom? I don't know. What? I hope everything comes out all right. Well, that's a crappy joke. <laughs> Great one. And stay classy, Sycamore. Do your best to be great, Sycamore. And... Go, go Waves! Waves!